As enrollment declines due to census and moving to private school options, how would you work with the superintendent to adjust to these changes? Enrollment, um, I have I've been through decreasing enrollment when I first started in Wilton and then later increasing enrollment and trying to get the, uh, the expansion um, uh, done, project done. Um, and I think that um, that over the years working in Wilton, or I'm sorry, working in Ridgefield, uh, watching a precipitous decline in, in elementary enrollment even got the town talking about closing one of its neighborhood schools. I think Wilton is actually lucky in that uh, the way we're organized, um, that we can take the most advantage of declining enrollment when it comes to um, staffing because, for example, all our students are on the same site in the same grade level. For instance, all our kindergartners are in, are in one spot. Um, so if there are incoming smaller class sizes at the kindergarten level, you can best advantage how many sections or how many um, classes of kindergartners you're going to need, whereas in other towns are kind of spread out and it never really hits you. So I think that, that we actually have um, an economical way of organizing the schools here to take advantage of declining enrollment as long as it hits in one grade. You can, it's more easy to, uh, to cut sections, et cetera. Um, at the high school, when you go through declining enrollment, you have to protect the uh, curriculum and the breadth of offerings. Uh, sometimes what you need to do is um, think about rotating the offerings. So oh, thank you so much. Sorry. Uh, Ms. Jeans, would you care to take that question? Um, so based on some of the reports, the report from Malone and McBroom, uh, the, the town is going through a small decline. Um, I, as I sit here with a child who's at Cider Mill, and we had to add a third grade classroom this year um, at like the very last week of August, the week before school started. So it's... Um, with the expectation that there will be a decline, I think there, we're going to have to measure it um, coming up to that school year just to be sure that we're not um, overcutting before, um, before the school starts. Um, as Deb had said, I guess we are very lucky in the fact that we have um, all the grades in one building. I think that cutting teachers is, is not the ideal, but if the population is going down and um, the class sizes need to stay roughly where they are. That's what, something that's going to work, have to be worked out. Um, but I do think it's one of those situations that we will, we will have to sit and address with the superintendent on a sort of a case by case or year by year basis. Um, I think that the what we have as far as the programs that we have in the, in the school systems right now, I don't think should get changed or affected. So it's really just a matter of working with strong programs as well. Thank you so much. Ms. Preston. Um, yes, I think the declining enrollment is, is interesting, the fact that we see sometimes an expansion and contraction. Um, we've seen that in uh, the enrollment in years past. In just this year, we had uh, 70 more students enroll in our schools than was ultimately um, had been forecasted. Um, I think we just need to be careful that decisions um, surrounding declining enrollment aren't based on uh, knee-jerk knee reactions, because I think knee-jerk reactions will ultimately uh, negatively affect our, our children and the, and the quality of their education. Um, I think if we take a more thoughtful and uh, pragmatic approach um, to, you know, trying to find, balance the declining enrollment and, and finding efficiencies um, so that we're not putting, we can, we're not putting as much uh, uh, pressure on the taxpayer, that would, that would be ideal, but thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hammerly, same question. Okay, uh, enrollment. Uh, as much as we would like to think it's a science, it really is an art, and we go outside for guidance on what our enrollment uh, projections are going to be. In this past year, we were surprised. Uh, we have approximately 70 students more than we anticipated, more than 70 students more than what our projections showed. Uh, if it all came in one grade, it'd be wonderful. 70 students, 20 students in the class, we eliminate three classes, we've got three teachers. But it doesn't happen that way. Across 12 grades, we could have six students in one grade, eight in another, two in another, four in another, and there's no cut. 
you know, it is not the budget panacea that some people think, oh, we've got this great en enrollment decline, we're going to save all this money. It doesn't happen that way, sadly. I wish it did. It would make all of our lives easier. But if you, have, if you lose three students in 12th grade next year, we're not going to cut a teacher. It's not going to happen. But if you lose 10 students, we're not going to cut a teacher. It's not going to happen that way. We had to add a teacher this year in third grade. We were pleasantly surprised, and I'm glad to have the students, because they're now going to go through the system. Uh, but it just doesn't happen that way. I wish it did. It would be much, much easier. Uh, we are looking, however, at class size. Again, our class size guidelines are about 10 years old, and if there's opportunity to move and adjust class size, we'll take the right steps and we'll do the right thing. Oh, thank you. Ms. Lowe, would you care for another 30 seconds? Uh, yes, it's a good point that other people have made that enrollment um, projections are often volatile, even though enrollment went down year to year by 20 students, it didn't go down the projected 90 students, and that is a huge difference. Um, just wanted to add that I have lived through serious declining enrollment at the high school, and you do have to get really creative with your offerings in order to keep the breadth of curriculum. And again, that can involve uh, rotating courses, doing them every other year, every other semester, um, so you keep the breadth of your offerings as long as you have um, okay, thank you. an agenda that uh, Ms. Jeans? lays it out. <laughs> um, I, I, just, I just wanted to add that, um, as Glenn was mentioning, that there might be you know, two students here, four students there. Um, if, the, if the population is declining, um, we also need to just keep in mind of our budget. Um, we can't be continuing to raise the budget if our student um, population is going down. And so it's just something that I just wanted to add. Ms. Preston? I'm okay, thank you. All right, fine. Do you need another 30 seconds?